Standard Chartered is preparing to defend itself against allegations from the New York State financial regulator that it hid a quarter of a trillion US dollars in transactions tied to Iranian clients in a hearing. The scheduled 15th August hearing is widely anticipated as there has been a war of words between the New York's Department of Financial Services, or DFS, headed up by Benjamin Norsky and Standard Chartered CEO Peter Sams, which have phoned back and forth over the last week. According to reports, the bank has already discussed a settlement amount to resolve the inquiry and will also be defending its right to a US banking license after the DFS threatened to revoke it. Standard Chartered has already vehemently denied the allegations in public statements and with the CEO hitting back at the regulator saying we reject the position and portrayal of the facts by the DFS and that it would be disproportionate and wholly inconsistent with the actions of other US authorities in other sanctioned matters to revoke the bank's New York license. The DFS said on 6th of August that it conducted an extensive investigation which included the review of more than 30,000 pages of documents including internal standard chartered emails that describe willful and egregious violations of law. Shares have tumbled since the news of the investigation and now South Korea has revealed that it will be investigating the bank as well as HSBC. It said that while there were no specific grounds to suspect wrongdoing by the banks, Korean branches, the the probes will be derived entirely from developments in the US. I'm Leanna Brinded. For more business and economy news, check out our website, ibtimes.co.uk.